Our top story this afternoon, with under one week to go before the general election here in Korea, a two-day early voting period has opened for people unable to vote on the actual April 13th election day. Our Kim j o n is at one of the more than 3,500 polling stations, and it is actually inside the nation's main gateway, Incheon International Airport. Uh, so, j i o n you've been there for a couple of hours now. Have you seen many people casting their votes? Well, Mark, there are currently 20 to 30 people waiting in line to cast their votes, so it's, the line is not that long. You can see them squeezing in the time to cast their votes before departure time, carrying their luggage with them. And this early voting system in Korea is the first for a general election in Korea, and it's also expected to be a game changer in neck and neck regions, and it's also expected to encourage young voters. more young voters to vote. Already more than 731,000 people, or around 1.74 percent of eligible voters, have cast their ballots at one of the 3,511 polling stations as of 11 a.m. this morning. And the highest number of voters, early voters, have been seen in Korea's southwest, western Seolang, the province, and the lowest number in the southern port city of Busan. The National Election Commission first adopted this system during the April by-election in 2013 as part of efforts to boost a turnout rate. But it's the first time for the country to ever set up a polling station in Incheon International Airport, where 45 million people used to fly in or out of the country every year. And polling stations have also been set up in Seoul Station and Yongsan Station in the capital city and also community centers for early voting nationwide. So, uh, j i o n tell us more about the process then for voters, uh, for our viewers as well here in Korea. If you are an eligible voter, what do you need to bring along? Well, Korean nationals can vote in any of the polling stations around the country. All they need is an ID card, like a passport and driver's license. But there's no need to submit any application form in advance, so it's very convenient for voters to vote. And early polling stations will be open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. today and also on Saturday. I'll be more, this is all I have for now, but I'll have more updates and later newscasts.